All right, final night of the regular season in Maine high school hoops. Almost all the playoff spots determined statewide, but still plenty of intrigue beginning at Greeley High School tonight. Greeley looking to go unbeaten on the year, taking on rival Falmouth. Greeley led by double digits in the second quarter, but Falmouth's Sam Maganello at the horn. Falmouth down six at the break. Early in the third, Ben Simons cuts the lead to three, 30-27. But Greeley responds. Jordan Bagshaw kicks it out to Zach Brown. He had 15. Then Matt McDevitt working at baseline with a tight defense somehow gets it to fall. Greeley goes on a 13-5 run. Later on, McDevitt closely guarded again. He had 22. Greeley running. Bagshaw and McDevitt, 61-44. Greeley, they finish at 18-0. Deering at South Portland tonight, and South Portland took it to a new level. Ray Bowl finds some room, and he blows by the defense. 16-2 run to open things up. Then Bowl kicks it out to Connor Buckley for three. 16-3 Red Riots after a quarter. Red Riots showing all phases. Liam Coyne in transition. Then South Portland. On the defensive end, DeAndre White, the steal, coming off that win over Portland, no letdown. 54-31, South Portland with the victory as they head to the tournament with momentum. Edward Little hosting Mount Arad tonight. Late first half, Eagles work it outside. Ryan Nello buries the three, looking for the upset. Closing seconds of the half, though. Jared Norcross board. He misses, but Wall may win in there for the tip in. Then CJ Gibson steals the inbound pass and beats the buzzer with the three. How about that? 81-55, EL, they're 17-1. Massabesic needing a win at Sanford for a chance at a playoff spot, but the Spartans take command from the start. Leighton Bickford ahead to Brad Bouchard. He had 16, a pretty one there. Then Frank Vino powers his way on the offensive glass for two. Ethan Belanger inside to Vino, who had 19, 68-41, Sanford, the victory. Thornton hosting rival Biddeford. Carter Edgerton driving for a pair. Biddeford down just three in the third. The TA goes on a run. David Cohen's been stepping up his game. He had 16. Then Austin Bouchard crossing over, crossing cats up, hits the three at 18. Evan Christensen 19, 70 to 52. Thornton with the win. They are 16 and two. Cape on a four-game losing streak, hosting Freiburg tonight. Caper start hot. Jacob Allen, the bounce pass to Marshall Peterson for two. Then Quinn Hewitt kicks it out to Peterson. He had 20. Cape with a win, 51 to 38. Yarmouth hosting Wells this evening. Last time these teams played, Yarmouth scored 91. Wells came out on fire tonight, stayed in it. Alexander Medinison, the nice tip in. Then Medinison from downtown. He had 36 in this one. But Wells, hey, they can rebound with Yarmouth. Cam Cousins inside, grabs the loose ball. He goes in for two. Then Matt Sherburn scores off another loose ball. We have a two-point game in the second quarter. But Yarmouth executes just before the half. Noah Haggerty back door to Medinison. 69-52 Yarmouth with the win. York boys hosting Kenny Bunk tonight. Off the inbounds play. Designed perfectly for Dustin Newey inside for two. York goes on a run. Reed Hogan, he finds Jackson McCarty inside. Good passer, but this time he's going to shoot it. Then Hogan drains the foul line jumper. York closes the season with a 44-37 win. They're 11-7. Lake Region at Freeport. Lakers looking to move up from the eighth spot in standings. On the break, Tyler Walker to True Myers for the lay-in. Freeport came to play tonight. They hung around. Matt Nielsen with the hoop inside. It was a tie game late, but Lake Region would win it. Douglas Mayo here, the nice jumper for the Lakers, 49-43. They win it. All right, girls action. Wells hosting Yarmouth. Big game, trying to grab that number three seed and be south. Warriors by 10 at the half and pulling away in the third. Hannah Moody for three. Then Moody finds Natalie Thurber on the back door for the hoop and the foul. She had 12. Mackenzie Foss then pulls up for three. Warriors go up by 21 and hang on 36-26. They should be one of the top seeds in B. All right, Gray to Gloucester hosting Poland. Third quarter, Alicia Dumont. Nice job, splits the defenders, and Gray up by 15. Knights trying to respond. Sarah Moody with a three up top, but the Patriots had an answer. Dumont with a three of her own, and then a little bit later, Sky Conley with some nice passing to Izzy Detroit. 59-31, Gray wins it. They finish at 17-1. Falmouth at Greeley this evening. Falmouth sticking around in the third, thanks to Grace Susie. She knocks down the triple for the Yachtsman. Greeley. Comes back the other way. Brooke Obar, the mid-range J, knocks it down. And then Obar to the senior Mora train on the break and makes a nice move to the rim. 
Brewery wins at 63-48. They finish at 17-1. Scarborough, 15-2 on the year, hosting Bonnie Eagle for the Red Storm. Jocelyn Kucher in traffic and oh, somehow gets a tough shot to go. Bonnie Eagle the other way. Nobody stops ball. Mackenzie Emery makes some pay. She had 12, and Bonnie Eagle with the upset of the night, 45-35, almost get into the playoffs with that win. Chevers hosting Maine Girls Academy for the Stags. Brooke McElman, she's running the offense from the baseline to Kaylin Malmquist for three. Then McElman again from the baseline, this time to Brooke Dawson for three. Lions get something going from inside. Maddie Boalo, the senior, with a nice finish after the seal. 49-26, though, Chevrolet with the win. South Portland girls on an 11-game win streak hosting Westbrook this evening. Megan Graff from outside knocks down the long jumper. A little, little later, Bella Cloutier from pretty much the same spot. South Portland rolls in this one, 62-43, headed into the tournament on a roll. Deering hosting Portland tonight for the Rams. Delaney Haynes in transition. She finds Victoria Garand inside. That's a nice running too. Then Haynes a little bit later. She would keep it herself. She had 20, 64-42. Deering with a win. Titherington with 18. Marshwood taking on rival Noble tonight. Hawks start the second quarter on a run. Angela Bisson drives and gets the runner to go down. And then Natalie Herbel hits the short jumper. And that's going to drop too. Marshwood with a victory 57-26. The Hawks end the season at 14-4. All right, AA North, Lewiston hosting Bangor. Blue Devils up in the fourth. Morgan Eliason with the steal, and she's going to finish with the basket and one. Rams will try and put a rally together, but too little too late. Lewiston hangs on for the 42-34 win. They're going to the postseason. All right, basketball fans, also reminder, tomorrow night, 7.30, our Hoops 8 tournament preview show. Make sure to catch it. A lot of fun, uh, a lot of fun stuff in that show. All right, Roger's back with the final check of the forecast when we come by.